The new Ethernet patch panel serves as an interface between the cabling inside the control cabinet and the field cabling. There are various interfaces available. RJ45, push in terminal block, screw terminal block and fast connection terminal block with IDC. Using IDC, I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect the field side cable. First, I need to find out the correct stripping length. In order to do this, we insert the cable up to this black line. The second edge of the shielding plate shows where to cut. Using this stripping tool, I'm going to do a circular cut. I'm adjusting the knife and turning it around two or three times. Then we have this cut here. The sheet is removed. The braided shield is folded backwards. And to achieve a large grounding or contact surface, I'm wrapping it around the cable sheet. I must now prepare these four pairs. The inner shielding, the foil, is kept on the wires as far as possible. It serves as a shielding against external electromagnetic interferences. A stripping length of 10 mm is absolutely fine. I repeat this for all four pairs. I have already prepared this cable. Here you can see the different colors. The color code is printed on the inside of the cover. While I'm inserting the cable, I can see at a glance which wire must be connected. The IDC fast connection terminal block can be opened manually. I only need to insert a pair of wires. And I can close the terminal block using my fingers. I'm going to demonstrate this for all the wires. And this is how eight wires can be easily connected without any tools. The single wire ends need not to be strapped. Finally, I need to ground the cable shield. The shielding plate must be open. I am adjusting the cable, inserting it into the pit, and I only need my fingers to close the terminal block. Finally, I am arranging the wires. The strain relief is now 50 Newton and I only need to close the cover.